as we explore themes in quantum body, the new science of living a longer, healthier, more vital life, my work with Jack Tuzinski, um, quantum physicist and quantum biologist, and Brian Fertig, fellow endocrinologist, uh, as we explore these themes, um, putting together a playlist on quantum reflections. But I should warn you that uh, if you check with most mainstream physicists or scientists uh, about some of the ideas I have proposed since uh, 1988 when I wrote Quantum Healing, most physicists will consider my ideas fringe. A lot of them um, think uh, they're outrageous, not even wrong, as they say. And a lot of them also treat uh, the idea of quantum consciousness, quantum healing, quantum mind, quantum memory, quantum imagination as, uh, as uh, treated with derision, ridicule. So I have uh, hopefully gone beyond uh, uh, beyond uh, uh, being offended by ridicule because I thought if I was going to be offended by ridicule ridicule about my ideas, then I would remain offended for the rest of my life. However, in the interests of those who are curious and those who do not believe and that uh, we should all rally together in the name of academia for the suppression of curiosity then i'm putting together a playlist on quantum reflections and i will uh, share it with you uh, so we can expand this conversation for those of you who are willing to um, to explore fringe ideas. Uh, so today, I want to explore the idea with you that your body is the universe recycling in every way, in every way. So let's consider that. The atoms in your body, um, because after all, your body is made of atoms, have been recycled from animate beings and inanimate, inanimate objects for millions of years. This is because atoms are constantly being recycled through the environment through a process called biogeochemical cycling. This process involves the transfer of atoms between living organisms, the atmosphere, and the geosphere. Geosphere means the earth. For example, the oxygen atoms that we breathe, that we breathe in with every breath were once part of stars and the carbon atoms that make up our bodies were once part of ancient plants and animals. In fact, it is estimated that about 10% of the atoms in our body are older than the earth itself. Some people even say that um, 50% or up to 50% of the atoms in our body could have come through from other galaxies. Remember, there are two trillion galaxies. So um, maybe up to 40, 50% of the atoms in our body, based on certain cosmological calculations, could have come from other galaxies uh, through a phenomenon called gravitational wind. So when we consider this, then it's very uh, likely, not likely, it's almost certain that we have millions of atoms in our bodies that were once in the bodies of historical figures like um, Julius Caesar or Cleopatra or the Queen of Sheba or Buddha or Jesus Christ. This is because the atoms in our bodies are constantly being replaced um, as we eat, drink and breathe. In fact, it is estimated that we replace about half of the atoms in our body every year. I've read different estimates, but this is current thinking. So the next time you take a deep breath or eat a meal, remember that you are literally the universe's grand recycling process. Do these atoms contain form of memory? 
Okay, so is do atoms contain a type of quantum memory? Um, I shall address this in another post. But in the meanwhile, do know that the universe is recycling and evolving through you. And that's a privilege for any living organism, not just humans. <laughs>